And we are back with Business Radio X Pro Tips. Lee Cantor, Stone Payton here with you. Lee, it happens to me from time to time. I'm sure you've heard this question. What counsel, if any, do we have in terms of how to respond to the discount question? If someone asks for a discount, what's the best way to handle that conversation? Well, one of the things we do when somebody asks for a discount is we give them a discount if they pay all up front. So by paying up front, we will lower the price uh, for the service, but they have to pay up front. Um, if they don't want to pay up front, then we just then the monthly fee is the monthly fee. Um, but if you are in going to give a discount, it's important that you have to take something of value away. You can't just give a discount for the sake of giving a discount because it's, you lose kind of the pricing integrity. What do you think about that, Stone? What are some of the strategies you use when uh, somebody asks for a discount? Well, I try to keep it all, like you say, within frame or within scope. So if I'm going to change the scope of the financial investment, then I'm going to revisit the ROI that we are um, trying to deliver. I think within reason, we can probably design something for most budgets. And if not, you know, we're too early or too late to be of any real service. And we'll try to help again when the timing is better. But if they're purely just asking for a lower price, which is what often happens when they use the word discount or they're asking that question, they're trying, they often, their first swing at that is getting the same level of service, or in our case, since we actually provide real green dollar ROI in so many cases, they're asking for the same RO, for uh, that same level of result for a lower financial investment. So, um, I mean, the short answer is no. Uh, the other answer is, well, let's scale the investment to uh, fit the outcome. 